Aaron Finch, captaining Australian one day to national cricket for the final time. His nemesis there, Trent Bolt, swinging it back in. He's picked him up a number of times. Flashing square of the wicket, and Inglis has his first boundary. Close, 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 but not close enough. Little touch there, was there just a little touch, yes. And uh, Inglis is gone. Wow. Straight through, straight through, Southie. And that is it for Aaron Finch. The last time he will leave the ground in Australian One Day International Colours. Ooh, that's beautiful. How good did that look? Shot. Really well played. Just a slightly overpitched. And that's through. Didn't try and hit that too hard. He just placed it to perfection. Through the gap, and that uh, should race away. And there is the first uh, Lava Shane boundary for you, Kerry. Yes. Yeah. Four more. Raining boundaries all of a sudden. It's nicely timed. He's hit a few of those today at Kazali Stadium, Steve Smith. Oh, yeah, he went out in game two trying to go up and over the top. Not in game three, finds the boundary. A little tickle around the corner, it's gone fine as well. Well, is that the fourth one of the day? It might well be. It certainly is. They're just getting better and better as the day goes on here for Steve Smith. Bolt. They need something here. Does New Zealand and straight away Manus Labashain, who hasn't had the best of runs against Trent Bolt. He's made a little bit of a statement, ball one as he brings up his 50. The partnership went to 100. Both players now have gone past the half century. Just holds his shape nicely. Does it get through? No, a little bit of hand on it from the captain. Question is, is it enough? No, it's not. That was the timing from Steve Smith. Doesn't get all of it. Hits high on the bat and it's taken. This is a coach killer, isn't it? When you come out of a drinks break, you've got a partnership set, and a wicket falls. That's nice. Strong. Now it's scary. Just the power there. The ball was well pitched up, but he just jammed it down and flew away. Takes it on in the deep. Hit it well. So well up on the bank. I want you to count them. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Conventional from Kerry. Yeah, that's a good shot. No one out there, one bounce. It helped on its way. Really well guided from Smith. And with that single, Steve Smith brings up his 12th one day international. He loves batting at home. That average just continues to grow. Goes length ball. Steve Smith charges down the deck. Yes. Charges again and gets through to defences of Smith, but Santner gets through him. Looks to go big down the ground and easily, comfortably cleans it. That's exactly what he does. He gets rid of the front leg. Maxwell comes, Maxwell goes. That's nice, really nice. Innovation. Looks to stand and deliver this time though, and it works well for him. Yeah, there's that shot once again. Gets it right, well, in terms of the length this time, but it's picked up and dispatched. Australian fans will be pretty happy, though, because they've put on 266. Down to the boundary for four, so a terrific start, this, for New Zealand. Straight up, straight up, but lucky with it. Beginner's luck, maybe. On the back of Stark doing so well. Nicely timed. Maybe he does. Nice drive, very nice drive. Gee, the timing's better tonight. Wonderful shot. I've seen some glorious on drives throughout the evening, a lot of them coming from Steve Smith's bat. 
There's the shorter ball. Probably not short enough, though. Yeah, nicely timed, but more so nicely placed. In the air, does it carry? That is the question. Down the ground, that is another favoured shot and approach from Finn Allen. Just retook his guard, Cam Green, and it's worked. There we go, Hazelwood. That is a nicely timed punch off the back foot. Did it get through? We'll have to go upstairs. Good work there from Alex Carey. Up and over, just holds his shape beautifully. Does Mitchell, a couple of bounces and over the line. Well, that's back of the length. It's gone straight up in the air. Back off its mind, says Steve Smith. Takes the catch. Yeah. It's getting up there in the context of the series. To score at seven and over is big, and that's run out. And that compounds to the problem. That's a good shot because he's beaten the man at the 45 and got the angle absolutely perfectly. Catch it. Another one down. Up is Lee and good shot down the ground. Beautifully played. Slashed away over the top. He has nailed that. Talk about comfortable, eh? That's through the gap. And it's going to run away. Another one. It's that a little bit better. In the gap too. Into the deep. And good placement. Oh, could this be it? This could be it. It's a big wicket. Taking them on. The mid on is up and it's a boundary. In the air for a long time. And six. Bang. Far enough, far enough. You bet it is. You bet it is. Bang. Straight down the ground. Shouldn't be stopped and won't be. Very high. Very, very high. Big moment this. Massive moment. Oh. They'll have a look at that. They will have a look at that. Crunch down the ground. Good, no good. Gone straight through him. The perfect Stark Yorker. Up and over. Is it? Is it over? No, it's not. It's over, all right. The game is over. And Australia have done it again.